Hey guys and gals, let's build the Jungle Explorer water plane by LEGO City. This is set number 60425, contains 177 bricks, retails for $22.99, and this set was provided by the LEGO Group for early review. So that is essentially what we are going to be building today. And in addition, some crocodiles around some scrawny tree thing. <laughs> and... Three bags of bricks, and I don't think there was any stickers that came with it. I'm hoping that's printed. It looks like it is. And that's essentially what we have here. Well, let's build it. We're going to start with bag one, which covers building guide one. And this, well, as the filming of this, this is the last set I have. There's 28 sets. This is the 28th one. And I'm trying to think of a new tutorial idea. I've got a couple of that I want to kind of tinker with. But right now we got to focus on this. So that's what we're going to be doing. It's a little small manual too. For 177 bricks, it should be real quick. Ooh, I like these jumper plates and these. I've been trying to collect a lot of the light blue transparent plates and bricks and stuff. Oh, we already eaten something here? All right. Inset like this is meant to be a quick build. It's not meant to build a whole city off of. Double-sided head. And, yeah, we're just meant to get this done. And, two, I'm kind of getting tired of building sets. I want to get back into the campground project, but I haven't done that yet because I need to clean off the memory cards. And I'm hoping to have just enough memory to finish this up. So that's what I'm hoping that I can get done. So she's got a really nice... DSLR camera and then in addition she has a compass and honestly I just want to get sets reviewed and I still got to edit a bunch I'm releasing them now and I'm honestly just pooped I don't want to build any I don't want to look at any more building guides I want to make my own so there you go there she's done And you got the baby crocodile or alligator. He's sand green. And the other ones are olive green. So we need to make two of these. And the book is so cool. Look, it doesn't even tell you there's two there, but it tells you here. So you better know your symbols. Oh, we gotta install the tails too. I bet these need a Technic pin. There you go. In fact, it's just easier to put the jaw on like this. There we go. And yeah, they can even bite your hand too. Well, that's sharp. Imagine if these things were real. Let me back this camera up a little bit here because it feels like you're not seeing what I'm showing you here. Oh, Jay, please don't. Yeah, I'm going to have to. Okay. So, yeah, you got your pinky biters here. These are fun to play with. So I want to just get this all done so I can enjoy my summer. I got a tutorial that I want to kind of run through and stud real quick and make sure that's, that's going to work. Okay. 
So I don't expect this to have a whole lot of well, wow factor. In fact, I was looking for these right here for a tutorial. You will not see until 2025 if you're on memberships. I'm going to try to get it out as quickly as possible. I'm behind on getting um, to writing up the rest of the building guides for this year. And once I get the reviews going, I'm really going to get on to that. I'd still like to get the Michael Myers house done this summer. And I can't do that now. And I really do need to get a haircut again because I got hair flying in my eyes. And this stuff grows fast. Even at my age, it just doesn't know when to stop. Okay. Yeah, these jungle sets, I'm not really a fan of. I mean, now I can talk about it, that Lego delivery truck. That, uh, <laughs> that, that right there was fun. If that mansion wasn't scratched up, wasn't it would have been a fun build. Somebody said, I noticed you were disappointed. Uh, guys and gals, I really don't get so disappointed with sets. It's just if they come in damaged, that's when I just have problems with them. But like this one right now, it's not my thing, but it's a 10. And the reason why it's a 10, because nothing's disintegrated yet. Uh, it's got accessories. It does have some playability, so... Unless you're saying, okay, here you go, here's your... There's your set, and it's just a stud. You know, we're we're going to have problems, because playability is not going to last too long. If you had a frog, it, even if it's just this frog, you'd have a little bit more. But I got a question. Is how do you come up with all the big builds? You know, where do you get all the, the funding? Why don't... It's years of saving up, but mainly getting the stuff from sets like this through family, friends, the ambassador program. And then I start from there. Ooh. Making a mess everywhere. I'm getting kind of klutzy. <laughs> well, this is nice beginner terrain. Had a fried burger tonight, and I was hungry. Once I get this filmed here, I'm going to finish up a review offer real quick in terms of editing. I got well, I got to write up my notes, and then which is the start of the paperwork, which is a lengthy process. And yeah, oh wait a minute, hold on, it goes like this and then it goes right here okay so I guess it stays closed and that's where the alligators live at oh, I've got to put this piece on the top I can always use those 18 degree slopes Yeah, I'm debating on ripping the hardware out of my tailgate in my truck and redoing it. Uh, I got the tailgate to close really good, but I'd like to take all the grease off of it, re-grease it. And i got to put some rubber, um, not shock absorbers, but... When I close it, I don't want metal hitting against me. I want it to sound really solid. So that, i got to think of some. Oh, these go up here. What's with the hooks for? Is that to tow it to a new site? Yeah. 
and so at least I got that and all that stuff. Well, what's these for? Unless they're meant to cat, uh, connect other things. Yeah, so basically we're done with booklet one, but we have an extra leaf piece. Did I miss something here? Let's take a look. Ah, there's supposed to be one up there. When you do this a lot, you'll notice what you're missing. I mean, yeah, for the most part, that's what that is. I think it's just to put the alligator inside and to have him play peekaboo with the with the visitors. And that's what we have remaining for bag one. Okay, bag two. And we are also moving to building guide two. So we don't need this one anymore. And somebody had said they were trying to scan the QR codes off the screen. I've already claimed those. So I won't be able to do that. Get your, uh, what do they call it, VIP points or something, insider points. Is that one of those newer maps? Oh. It's a different map with an alligator on it. I like these map, these different types of maps. I'll have to collect those up. What Lego doesn't get, you know, before they used to go really cheap on things. What they don't get is, people like me want these printed pieces. You know, I don't want to have to mess with printed stuff. And two, a printed piece is easier to get than something with stickers. guy's wearing a helmet with goggles and a wrench. Oh, and by the way, today is the 29th of May 2024, and it is a bedside build. That is correct. That means that basically we do this before we go to bed. Someday I may do it while I'm laying in bed. Modify this table with the camera for the phone and just do it. The reviews I'll probably keep still the same though. Alright, let's get going on the plane here. He's done. Yeah, my eyes are starting to get a little tired, but I figure what I'm going to do is just... I thought about it, and I thought, well, let me get some of these videos done real quick. And as far as for a tutorial, I do have an idea. I just got to think if I really want to do it tonight, or should I wait? I hadn't even started building yet. It shouldn't be hard, but... Ooh, that is printed. On both sides, too. Cool. I'll just give him the map. There we go. Now, um, whoa, trying to kick me. Yeah, I mean, the set is, uh -oh. excuse me, this set is somewhat keeping my interest, but I think, honestly, I've already done enough sets to last me a long time. So, yeah, I mean, it's, uh, it is what it is.
camera looks so far away, but I'm only about 10 inches away from the product. Wow, a 2x4 medium nougat brick? We need that for the campground. Alright. Oh, there's holes in there? Huh. It's kind of odd. I'm going to go too much in the high altitudes and you'll lose oxygen because there's little holes in there. Lime Green Technic Bricks, cool. So, this tutorial, get it done, it won't be released till 2025 sometime. And I know some people hate the little clutter item builds that I do. But sometimes those cluttered items, they uh, help out, especially when I want to build something bigger. I'm like, hmm, I'm stuck on a coffee table. I'm stuck on how to build a bathroom. And then, believe it or not, I'll pull that video up. Or if it's one of the lucky ones that has a printed building guide, I'll pull that up going, oh. Okay, I remember how to put that together. And. Yeah, sand yellow for that. It's kind of unusual. There's a piece that uh, goes right in there. Must be the cockpit. Yeah, these inverted bricks with bow, these are cool for making rocking chairs and stuff. And I don't have them in a whole lot of colors, but what colors that I'm interested in. I'm sorry if I'm a little quiet. Okay. And now... I mean, that's how, that's how I know I'm starting to wind down for the night. But at least it's not a boring build. Just uh, not quite my thing. Okay, so we're going to have to do duplicates, like our mirrors. So what I'm going to do, and my nephew's graduating in a few days from high school, and got to go to graduation commencement, and it's going to be, they keep changing from the 80s to the 90s for the temperature. And in about a week, we'll be hitting in the mid-hundreds, like 107, 110. So, let me do it like that. And I'm making sure the air condition is nice and cleaned and all that stuff. I gotta make sure I got my 36 inches of clearance around the coils so I keep it cool. I know since I've been doing keeping up on all this stuff, the um, everything's been running a lot better. It's not overheating or anything like that. All 
And that goes there. And this one. Wait, you know what we've got to do? Put the slopes on it. Before we do, let's do that. Not much into airplanes or planes like this. And then now this goes here. Just don't press in the middle. <laughs> Might cave in and break. Supposed to be a hole there? Yeah. Hole right there. Almost like a boat. I mean, pretty much. I don't see any flashing lights. I think we're good. I don't have a lot of memory left. I have been cleaning stuff out like crazy, and I just don't want to... Once I get all this filmed, then I'll worry about cleaning off the camera. Once I clean it off enough, I will focus on... Oh, you can't push that in all the way. Careful, don't push those in all the way because this will not stop. Yeah, today my nephew uh, had a trip at, trip at Disneyland. The high school it's supposed to be up like this I think it's just two clicks where it looks like that I might be wrong I don't know but These have got to go in here first. Okay, now the rear wing goes on here. Whoops, <laughs> well, that's not going to do any good. All right. Yeah, at night, yeah, my tone's a lot different than the daytime. But I really want to get this, this set done first. And I mean, I really want to... Okay, we got to build this. I just want to get it done first. And then once I get it done, then I can sleep on the night and then sleep on it. And tomorrow I can get back into, you know, thinking of other more exciting builds. And no, we're not even close to finishing yet. Look, we'll have one more bag after this. This goes on here. There we go. Yeah, it looks like we're missing some stuff here. But that's what we have remaining. Alright, now we have bag three, and that's what we're going to be finishing up. And I see something that's open is not scratched. Let's see here, we're at a 10. All right, Lego, that's pretty good. I like those. I'm gonna hope we got another one that's not scratched because, eh, yeah. So, oh, we got some scuffs. Lego, why can't you package this in its own little bin? That one was good, this one's kind of mangled. 
I'll put it in a 9.5 just because of that. There's also no brick separator, but for this being a small set, uh, I don't expect as much. And yeah, I, I am very picky. We got some car windows <laughs> on an airplane. Just enough room to put mini figures in. You got this hole at the bottom. What, what is that for? And these just sit here. All right. I mean, we're almost done. The pilot's still walking to his plane. So you just come here and pull this off and put it back on. I bet those are left open for the skis. So yeah, these right here, they just rest in here. That's all they do. Just They're just for decoration, nothing more. Okay, there, and there, oops, no, don't go in wrong, go in right, okay, now we got to cover these up with these, this is obviously going to land in the water, and we're just about done here, and I'm going to start fixing up for bed. <laughs> I'll kind of get tossed around. Okay. I don't think this is modular in any means. Oh, wait a minute. You know what? This might be modular. But it's not really balanced. But... If this is the only thing that connects to it at this point, this could just be built alone. And you can snap this on right here. And that means that, indeed, you know, three people can build this. For this being a small set, it's pretty much modular at that point. And you can put the map in the back and then the pilot inside. We'll save that for the the tour that's essentially what he is and that is it for that now let's set the set up this is something I don't need to put it on a turntable because I could just bring it up and show you okay so I'm not gonna say well let's let's do that And start setting it all up here. And let's see. Kind of keep it a little separate there. And we'll have the alligators here ready to chomp down on something. And this one's supposed to go through here like this. So we'll leave him in there. Oh, somebody's going to get attacked. And we got a space right here. We'll just do this. The alligators are friendly. Why? Because we're taking pictures. That's pretty much what that is. Okay? 
So I'm going to go ahead and focus this in. And you know, I could I guess I could bring it closer just a little bit here. And then I think we're ready for a thumbnail. So what I'm going to do is let me take a thumbnail and then we can start the formal review. We're going to start with our mini figures. So it looks like we have our photographer. She's got a camera and a compass, so she's ready to go. She can put the camera up for her face. I think she has a double-sided head. Yes, yeah, she does. She's even winking at us, too. That's the surprise she has. And then we have this gentleman here. I like the jacket. And these goggles go up and down. He's got a wrench. I like that map piece. And I think he's got a single-sided head. Yep, he does. And that's it for the minifigures. <laughs> and then we got our alligators or crocodiles. I never can tell which ones are which. And you get two of these. And we have a little baby croc right here. You also get to make a little habitat. I mean, it's little. <laughs> it's just enough for the crocodile or alligator to hide in. So basically, you just, you just rest in there and you can have them shoot out of the plant like this and ignore the frog. And that's what it looks like in the back. So it's just a portion of a mountain facade or some rocks. And lastly, we have the water plane. That's printed. That's pretty cool. That's, honestly, there's not much to it. These things here just rest under here, so you're not really attached to anything. And that spins. Isn't that cool? And that's the dime tour. Now, the top of this does come off here. And to reveal the inside, you get some little dinky stick right in there. I, yeah, and it seats many figures, and that's a 2 by 4 hole. So how are we going to get this stuff in here? I don't know. I think you have to take the wings off to get more access into it. So what we're going to do here, we're going to ditch the camera. She might need her compass. We'll set her in there with the compass. Let's see, how easy is this going to be? Alright, well that's not too bad, but I can't even get her in. She won't even sit down. <laughs> yeah, that's about as best as she's going to fit in there. It's not the compass, it's just... Well, these are coming up. Whoa, okay, well this is not working out very well. Maybe those are meant to come up. But seems like she's having a hard time sitting down in there. Put that on there. Or is it just for looks? We don't know. Take this one off because I have a film we're going to fight with that too. Oh, and the map does go back here. You can put it right in that area. So we'll just leave these off until we get everybody loaded up here. Take out his wrench. Put your goggles down so you can see better. I mean, it's scaled for figures, I have to admit that, but it's, I mean, it's pretty cozy inside. Look at that. Let's hope everything fits in there. I want to see if this is scaled for figures, or is this just something that just looks good, but you can't use it for anything here. All right, then you got to put the wings back on. Yeah, I mean... I was building it, it was pretty good, but I never tested it out for figures until now. But yeah, I mean, it's not a lot of headroom, but as you can see, everything is closed up. And uh, you got the camera and the little wrench. I could just you could leave these behind. And that's essentially what it is. So getting many figures in and out of the watercraft is a bit of a chore. 
It's not like you can just take the one piece off, put them in, and put the part back on. I mean, if there was a way to pop this whole thing off, it would be fine, but I don't know. It's just, it's designed kind of half-baked. <laughs> so, let's start with play value. And yeah, it does have some play value. I think everybody's going to be getting this more for the crocodiles and alligators and everything else. For this plane, eh, not so much. I'm not a fan of this plane. It's just kind of, it's not really friendly for taking minifigures in and out of it. They do sit right inside, but it's just not enough room in there. Kind of weird taking all this apart just to put minifigures in the plane. So either leave them in or keep them out. Other than that, though, it seems pretty sturdy. I mean, uh, maybe. I think it's more of an average Lego City build than anything else. So the play value is a bit limited. Build experience, eh, it's average for me. I mean, it was okay. I wasn't really interested in the build. I don't know, maybe it's just a color scheme, but I just consider it as an average build for my taste. Build quality seems average too. I mean, you gotta take this apart just to get into it, and this just feels kinda kinda flimsy. See, that's just coming apart. Uh, this this terrain stuff here, these leaves are just tacked on here, and I haven't had any of these come off, but it's a smaller set, so I don't expect it to last too long, but for the most part, it's just an average build. Now, you can drop this in a Lego City. This is ready to go. You can set this right on your beach or in your jungle. It would work. It's, it's done. You don't have to do anything with it. This little rock facade here, not so much. You'd actually have to put this up against a mountain or something for that to really work. But you do get the two accessories and stuff, so that's that's always a good plus there. The set does have a few pieces that you can use to enhance your Lego collection, or you can make something else out of this. Or if you're really inclined to do so, you can take parts from your own collection and put them in here. And that would pretty much wrap up that portion of the of the parts. Now, it is a collaborative build, surprisingly. Bag 1 does this. And the figures. Bag 2 does the airplane and bag 3 does this down here. So it is possible up to three people but I'd say two comfortably. It's not really balanced but you know it's a nice little group project nonetheless. No bricks separated but you do get a printed building guide. So my final score is an 8.5 out of 10. One of these windshields were a bit scratched and pitted, and the build seems average to flaky. It, it, it just, I don't know, I'm just not a fan of this. It just seems kind of sloppy, like it was just rushed together. But I think it's a nice set to drop in a Lego City. It just depends on your taste. I'm sure you can change the colors of this to make it look a bit more cheerful. But for me personally, I would have to say this is a pass for me. I just, it, it's an average set. That's all I can say about it. So tell me what you think.